A 10 year old previously asymptomatic child is brought to pediatric OPD with complaints of change in handwriting. Something happening with the hands. A 10 year old previously asymptomatic child is brought to pediatric OPD with complaints of change in handwriting. Something happening with the hands. Whenever somebody says change in handwriting, think of something in the hands. Parents complain that the child who used to have good skills in painting is losing ability to paint or write finely. The child was a, a good painter, but now he is unable to paint properly. His lines are not focused. They have also noticed some rhythmic tremors in the hand while in use. So maybe the tremors are causing the change in handwriting. There are no resting tremors. They are present only when the child is writing. No overshooting of intended movements. Overshooting of intended movement is a feature of cerebellar disorder, remember, right, dysmetria and no ataxia or vertigo, again it points towards no cerebellar involvement. There is a positive family history of two uncles having similar tremors in hands and also in the head. What is the likely diagnosis? Options. Early onset dystonia. This is not dystonic movement, these are tremors. Essential tremor, cerebellar lesion, Tourette syndrome. Tourette syndrome will have tics, not likely. This is not dystonic movements ruled out. Cerebellar lesion will be ruled out because these are rhythmic tremors and there is no cerebellar feature present in these patients. There is no dysmetria in these patients. What is the likely answer? Essential tremors is the likely answer. Essential tremors also called as familial tremors have a genetic basis. They tend to run in families. They're relatively benign disorder but can sometimes produce a lot of problem in the child. So essential tremor is an important topic and uh, I'll do a brief review in the key points that you need to know in the next two minutes. So please note down these points for your exams. So essential tremors are synonymous with familial tremors. They are the same entity. They are the most common cause of tremors in children, potential MCQ point. They show autosomal dominant inheritance. They tend to run in families. They appear in the second decade of life but can occur even as early as one to two years of age. Mostly they appear in the adolescent period. The tremors first appear in hands and these appear on movement or intention tremors. They are not rest or static tremors, they are intention tremors. Tremors are rhythmic in nature, right? The frequency is 4 to 8 hertz. They are worsened by anxiety, focused efforts and fatigue. When you are painting, when you are making fine lines, you are supposed to focus and that is why this is the time during which these children, they have prominent tremors. Intention tremors can occur in cerebellar disorders also, but intention tremors will be different. Why? because they will have, be having other cerebellar dysfunction features as well. Uh, they may be associated with head tremors. In fact, uh, Fenichel says that head tremors usually appear later and they are milder in nature and they are in the form of no-no movement. What is no-no movement? So they will have fine tremors like this, right? Mild cases, they do not require therapy. Severe cases benefit from either propranolol or primidone. They are usually started only if the child, uh, the daily activity of the child is getting affected. So what does Fenichel say? How to distinguish from cerebellar disorders? Fenichel says, essential tremor in children is often mistaken for cerebellar dysfunction because it occurs with action or intention. The two are easily differentiated because essential tremor is rhythmic, first point. They are not dysmetric, second point, that is they do not become worse at the end point and there is no overshooting of the intended target and because it is not associated with other signs of cerebellar dysfunction. So I hope the distinction between them is important, it is clear to you not only clinically but also from exam point of view. <laughs>